There are several standard shapes used in the design of aluminum alloy climbing carabiners. These shapes help impart varying attributes which in turn improves or specifies the use of that carabiner. This video will discuss the most commonly used shapes of climbing carabiners and a few of the characteristics associated with them. One of the oldest of all modern climbing carabiners, the oval carabiner features iconic symmetry and a timeless style. These are sort of an all-around carabiner. They have an acceptable braking strength with the gate closed and some retained strength with the gate open. The oval shape allows for symmetric loading of the carabiner along its major axis, so even bulky things will load oval carabiners in an even fashion. Though it is important to note, this same principle of major and minor axis symmetry can cause oval carabiners to shift into a cross-loaded position. Oval carabiners also generally have more space available inside the carabiner for the use and manipulation of multiple attachments. The D-shaped carabiner makes use of one obvious difference from its closest relative, the oval carabiner. It isn't symmetric. Because of this, the D-shaped carabiner generally ends up being able to carry higher loads than most other comparable carabiners of another shape. Additionally, this asymmetry helps to keep the D-shaped carabiner fixed in its rotational orientation, whereas symmetric carabiners often tend to rotate around their major axis. Traditional D-shaped carabiners often have small gate openings, which is frustrating when trying to use the carabiner for more than one use at a time. Newer, modified D-shaped carabiners help to address this. The modified D-shape introduces another element of asymmetry in that one end of the carabiner is now larger than the other. The larger end is often called the basket, while the smaller end can be referred to as the runner end. This particular asymmetry allows for greater gate opening, but will almost always compromise space inside the carabiner to do so. There are many variations of the modified D-shaped carabiner specified for particular uses. There are far too many to discuss here, but there are some prominent ones. The bent gate modified D-shaped carabiner is commonly seen on the rope side of a quick draw. While the lightweight wire gate modified D-shaped carabiner is used on both sides. Modified shapes do slightly lower the braking strength of the D-shaped carabiner, but these are well above the normal working loads of climbing anyways. The pear-shaped carabiner makes use of major axis asymmetry, but maintains symmetry between the gate and spine. They are characterized by a small end and a large end, which causes its braking strength to be less than similar D-shaped varieties. They are usually designed for use with multiple devices in the large end and a single attachment on the smaller end. Many times, pear-shaped carabiners are specified for use with belay or rappel devices to help funnel force from the rope to the small side of the carabiner attached to the harness. Pear-shaped carabiners can be subject to the same rotational instability as oval carabiners for the same reason. Ascend's Gear Shop carries an enormous selection of different carabiner shapes, brands, and types. Common recommendations for developing your toolkit include the following. Pear-shaped carabiners make for great PAS carabiners, so using two with a one-handed auto-locking capability becomes a safety priority. Don't forget to always use a backup personal anchor system. Pear-shaped carabiners also make for carabiners for repel and belay devices, so keeping two at your disposal for just these purposes means you'll never be looking for the right carabiner for these highly important duties. Since they have the greatest strength and least rotation, I'm always trying new types of D-shaped and modified D-shaped locking carabiners for multi-point anchors. Three different types is a good starting point.
Contact us with questions or order inquiries and comment below on your favorite carabiner shape.